Who do you have? You've got to be kidding me. Uh-oh. Uh, some giblets. Congressman. Giblets on display. Yeah, Congressman Chris Stewart is on the phone. I can't believe it. Chris. That's great. Chris. Hey, Glenn. How are you? Well, I've been better. <laughs> well, I guess a I, lot of people have, but uh, I uh I will tell you you have you have you have some nerve calling. <laughs> um and I appreciate that. Uh, we mm-hmm. were just saying off the air that we promised you as your friend that we would come to Washington to pull you out of Washington before you lost your soul entirely. And I'm not kidding you, Chris. We <laughs> were talking soul, about Glenn. We were, we're talking about up the car. We're gassing up the car. We're talking about <laughs> firing up the jet and flying there to pull you out of that cesspool because we're afraid you're losing your way. Well, Can I'm you... glad that I would make your list of those you want to save. I'm I'm complimented by that. You're definitely on that list. But uh, Chris, we're hearing disturbing news that you plan to vote for John Boehner. For Boehner. Yes. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So is it is okay. So hang and on just a second. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So hang on huh. just a second. So is it his? Is uh, is it his um, uh, opposing the repealing Obamacare that sold you on him? <laughs> Glenn, we could go back to a long list. Of no, 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 no. We're going no. to Chris because I'm your friend. Is it is stopping? <laughs> is it him opposing the IRS targeting of conservative groups? Him opposing that is that what got you to say I have to be on board with him? Glenn, there's a couple things. Reason why I'm supporting uh, the speaker. Okay, Number hang on just is, a second. Hang on just a second. I'm not done with my list yet. Is it okay. the opposing of the Massey Amendment? Is it the delaying of the Obamacare individual mandate that Would he was against? Oppose? Was it the raising of the debt limit? Was it the keeping the IRS out of our health care? Was it him opposing the Reins Act? Was it him opposing the or, or supporting the Cromney bus? Was it his opposing the audit of the Fed? Or was it him opposing the, uh, the EPA's overreach on water? Because I can't get past any of those, Chris. Any of those I can't get past. Now, you Glenn, tell me what, what sold you on him. Glenn, there's many of the things that you just said that John Boehner opposes is not true. He hasn't oh opposed many of those things. He hasn't, and that's just simply the truth. He hasn't opposed the Reins Act, for example. He hasn't opposed uh, any reforms on Obamacare, for example. There are other things that you've suggested or that other, other people have suggested that John Boehner has opposed, and it's just simply not true. But I think in the time we have here, we can't go back and review the last two or four or six years of votes you may or may not agree with him on. But the bottom line is this. Number one is I think we should be celebrating today, and it's, it's discouraging to me that instead this has become such a divisive day because we had a great election in November. Now we've got a united Congress and a united Senate now. For the first time, we've got a united front where we can oppose President Trump. Yeah, you're right. We have a united Congress, and they're giving the green light to the president on amnesty. They're giving the green light on the Cromney no, bus. No, that's that's a trillion true. dollars, Chris. Glenn, a trillion dollars. Then we are not giving the green light to the president on amnesty He has all. already backed off He's doing no, anything about it. Glenn, listen, you've got to at least be able so to... So every news report it. is wrong, Chris? Every news yeah, report in, we've in seen is wrong. Well, not every news lies. report is saying that, Glenn. There's only a few people that are saying that. Some people actually recognize what happened there. We what didn't happened? give a green light on amnesty. All we asked for, and this makes so much sense, all we asked for was, let's have that fight in February when we have a Republican Senate. That's all we asked for, and that's what we got. It's always we next time, right? that thing yeah. in January. It's always, uh, or in February. Okay, so, so it is always next time. No. So when, right. when, when so okay, so here's united, the thing, Chris. Here's when the we thing, have Chris. The united Congress. Chris, when we have, when we have the, the United, united Congress, when we have the United Congress, are you going to stand up and say, "Stop targeting the IRS"? The IRS, stop targeting people. Just are like you? Done, is just is like John Boehner? Is John Boehner going to say free market solutions? To I, I, I think John Boehner has done that, Glenn. Just like John Boehner has not, when? Has not stopped any efforts to target the IRS. Exactly the opposite. He has, he has done many of the mm. things that you've suggested. He's tried to do as many of those things. But you've got to recognize we so didn't who is have it? any so who is it? A, who is it here, Chris? Uh, who is it that's, 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 that's crafting these conspiracies? Am I now part of the conspiracy folk that I don't have the truth now? Is that what no, it is? 
Glenn, I've never used that word conspiracy. I've never. No, I know, well, I know, but I mean, there's obviously conspiracy. some. There's there's somebody trying to make John Boehner and the Republicans look bad. Who is it, Chris? Do I? You have always respected me for the homework that we have done and for the vision and the clarity that we have had. Am I now part of the the group that is just too radical? Glenn, once again, I have never suggested there's a conspiracy. I have never said that there's a group that's too radical. Only thing I've said is that there can be different opinions. So, well, I know that I'm not John Boehner. No, but you're supporting John Boehner. <laughs> you're supporting ahead, John Boehner. If John Boehner is the guy who is saying, and and the same thing with uh, what's his name uh, from the Senate, that think that people like Mike Lee are too radical, and if you're standing by those people, and they think that that that, that standing by the Constitution is too radical, you're in the wrong party, my friend. But Greg, why are you saying those things to me? I've never said those things. No, I, I, I understand that. I understand that. I understand, that. I understand that. Chris, 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 Chris. You find me in a brothel, and I'm friends with all the prostitutes, <laughs> and I'm friends with the madam, and I start telling you about how the city improvements, that this, this brothel is helping with the city improvements. Chris, I'm not sleeping with the prostitutes. I'm just here setting up office in the brothel. <laughs> Do you have a problem with me, Chris? Well, it's chance, Glenn. You know that. <laughs> how, how attractive are the young ladies in the brothel, right? <laughs> you so told then, us, wait, Chris, you wait. told us to come down on you like a bag of bricks if we ever felt you were losing your soul. Yeah. This is a bag of bricks time. We think you're well, losing your soul. Friends, friends can say those kind of things to each other. We get that. Yes, and uh, you and I have been friends for many more years than I've been in politics. I, I'm a new guy, Glenn. I've been in this for a couple a couple years now, right? Uh, but but I do think that there are times when you are, you and I agree that you've indicated that I haven't agreed with you. I think you've indicated that I've said or implied things that I certainly haven't, and I, and I never have. And I think that you and I agree on far more than we disagree. And I think you're using this one vote as some kind of a type of touchstone, touchstone, as if it indicates disagreement on everything else when we don't. No, no, no. Be, it is the only... game. It is the game, Chris. It's the game. You're playing the game. Stop playing the game. Tell me where, where. well, you can't because he doesn't need a pivot point. John Boehner is fine with you. So he yeah. doesn't need a pivot point. You don't think so, he could do better, Chris? You don't think he could do better than well, John Boehner? Well, listen, uh, gentlemen, who do you suppose that we would support you? Because all of Louis Gohmert. Lo Louis no, Gohmert. Do you know how many votes I think Louis will get? Well, I mean, yeah, Louis because not, people like you won't vote for him. Right. No, it's, <laughs> I mean, if, Louis, it's because as much as I like Louis, he's not the person to lead the House right now. Why? So John and, Boehner is. Well, but look, Louis not the person to lead the house right now. So, Why? but John Boehner is. I would rather have Louis Gohmert than John Boehner. Okay, we can agree to disagree on that. So no, because candidates. you know why yeah. you know why yeah. because you want to play the game and you know that the game has to be played in Washington and Louis won't play the game the American people here's what you're missing, Chris. The American people are done with the game. They're done. They're done. And you can play this all you want and hope to get to 2016. You're going to lose in 2016 if you continue to play the game. They're done. They would rather have somebody they disagree with in office that is not playing the game. I disagree with that person. I, I, I disagree with you. I think that by 2016, when the, when the American people see what the Republicans have been trying to do for the last few years, when we now have allies in the Senate who will help us to do those things in the next two years, when we're going to be able Chris. to move forward on the RAINS Act, on reforming okay. Obamacare or eliminating right. Obamacare. Okay, when well, when you get all those things done, controlling you, our debt, you get all those things done, you call me up, and then you come down on me like a bag of bricks, and I will apologize. I don't believe you. Okay. I don't well, believe we'll any of you in years. Washington. Because there's no, there's no evidence. There's no, there's no evidence. You've never done do it, Chris. It's you, never happened. How it's many not happened. Bills, how many bills did the Republican House pass in the last session? Set on Harry Reid. How many well, times have you guys standards? had the opportunity to have the balls to stand up and you don't have it in your underpants? 396 bills we passed in the House that set on Harry Reid's desk. So following your logic got, here, Chris. And now we've got a Republican Senate 
who can help us move 396 and, and to where? Where would they and, move them? Where would they move them, Chris? Right. They're going to move them to President Obama's desk. He's going yeah. to veto them all. And then you're going to tell us, well, we now have to wait until we have the presidency. But, but uh, and that's, that's, in some cases, that's a reality. It's always the reality. It's, it's always, always the reality, it's always and it's always. And you know, you're moving it to the Senate, run oh, by Mitch McConnell. Oh, Glenn, you're running Glenn. it to the you're running it to the Senate, run by Mitch McConnell. You're running it to the Senate. You're Democratic running it to the Senate. You have a House run by John Boehner, and you're going to run all these great bills to the Senate, run by Mitch McConnell, who is trying to take people like Mike Lee out at the knees. Did and I don't even want to ask you how you Mike feel Lee about Mike Lee. For, did Mike Lee vote for Mitch McConnell as a leader, as a Senate leader? I, I don't know. I don't know. Good question. I don't know. He did. He did. It's a terrible vote. Um, well, uh, I will disagree so, uh, with Mike Lee on that vote. To be fair to Chris, he did. He said he had to leave and we kept him so over several Mike minutes. Lee, so. Is Mike Lee an enemy to the American people now? Well, no, he never said you were no. an enemy to no, the American people. No, but there people. are. Uh, we never say you're an enemy to the American people. You're a good guy, Chris. I just I, I wonder Chris, why you don't you don't think we can do better. And I know I you hope, look. You've I been fair here. You my, called in and you stayed over by five minutes. Point, we do though. appreciate that. Yeah, I, I don't see your point. I I, I see, well, your, see point, your point. I disagree just, with it. But we're friends, Chris, and we always will be friends. I I I I'm worried about you as your friend. Uh, we honestly well, were having the conversation. I think it's about time to get in the car and go get our friend <laughs> and take him away before he loses his. Jump in your jet and come up here, and we'll continue the conversation. No, I don't think so. Ah, come on. <laughs> no, come I don't on. think so. No, because you still think you're going to win. <laughs> I could meet you tonight. <laughs> Chris, I love you. Right. Thank you very much. You, Thank you for yeah. having the courage to come up and yeah. take the yeah, bag of bricks. Thank you very much. We'll talk you to you guys. Bet. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. bye-bye. It's not as good as just voting for Louis Gomer, but it's something. Uh, it, that's always the case, right? Well, Louis can't win. Well, and and when when Ted Cruz comes up for election. Well, Ted uh, he Cruz can't, can't win. win. No, not if you won't freaking vote for him. Not if you don't vote for them. Of course they can't win. You're 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 listening to the people. You're listening to these advisors. Yeah. Oh, John Peter, he's a good guy. And I don't know. We don't have a Louis Gohmert running for anything in the Senate. We don't have that. Plus, Mike Lee probably. uh, Mike Lee. There wasn't a. If he Mike Lee was running, if Ted Cruz was running, and Mike Lee voted for Mitch McConnell, I would be very upset with Mike Lee, and we'd be trashing him on the air. Here's our sponsor this afternoon.